Hi, it's Peter, and I'm back to discussing my step-by-step -step guide for onboarding the non-technical Open Badges Infrastructure Implementer. Uh, I spoke in the previous screencast about the outline that I've put and all the different steps that I'll go through. Uh, in today's uh, screencast, what we're going to talk about is a blog post that I've put together as I have been learning about the Open Badges infrastructure. Uh, a lot of the stuff in this blog post was covered uh, from the previous screencast uh, describing Sonny Lee's post on how to find resources for learning about Open Badges. In this particular post, I'm going to focus a little bit more on the different wikis and the different technical sources to get information and get you up to speed with Open Badges. Uh, the first thing I'd like to look, take a look at is the two facts. Um, there's a frequently asked questions on the Mozilla Wiki, and this fact really focuses more on the sort of general questions about open badges uh, and talks about how they can be used, how they can be implemented, the pedagogical issues behind them, and things like that. On the GitHub, the fact there is much more technical. It's focused on uh, the technical aspects of implementing the Open Badges infrastructure. As you can see with both these facts, they are work in progress. Um, at the top part, there are questions being asked, and in the bottom part, you can see new questions being harvested from the Google group uh, and being identified as frequently asked questions and are being, you know, sort of categorized and then references made, they will be rewritten to become proper frequently asked questions. And this holds true for both the GitHub fact and the fact that you will find uh, on the wiki. The other thing that you should be uh, most aware of within the uh, resources is a very well written uh, getting started guide which really looks at the three roles, uh, the three main roles within Open Badges. You've got the earner, the issuer, and the displayer and again it will start getting into the technology that's available to you. Another important part about the blog post that I put together started to look at the idea of the source code. Um, within the GitHub you can take a look at and review other people's source code. Uh, some of these are all functioning websites so, or, or here's the, the, the source code for it but also you can find that there's websites that you can use really good idea to take a look at some of this source code if you're trying to figure some stuff out from a more technical perspective. Uh, great to have. Uh, another thing that you may want to consider looking at within the GitHub is, is also the source code in itself. So as you can see here, um, the GitHub also has all the source code available for you. You could download it, you can take a look at it, um, learn from it, implement it on your own servers if you so choose. Keep in mind that the GitHub is an excellent place to get a lot of technical information about the Open Badges project. Uh, also, there's an area here that talks about the issues and things like that. So that's a really a high-level look at, at two areas, which is the facts, which is a great place to get your, your questions answered. Um, also sort of got an idea of getting you thinking about the three different roles and how they fit together within the technology, meaning the displayer, the issuer, and the earner and also sort of took a look at uh, a little bit more detail about what's available for you in the GitHub um, from a sort of a source code perspective. So when, you, when you're going through all this stuff and you're finding yourself uh, trying to answer questions, keep in mind that there are two areas to get information. One is in the, in the, in the Mozilla Wiki and uh, numbers of pages there and another area is in the GitHub back. So ask yourself, is it a technical question or a general question? and that'll help you answer your questions.